This moment is one of the greatest moments of our lives. Truly, the high point of any life is prayer. It is a time when we rise above human mind, and we rise above all of human mind's problems. We turn to the mind of God and all of God's solutions. I would like you to relax right now, and if you can, close your eyes. Breathe in and breathe out and listen to your breath. In so doing, within a short time, you find heaven and you find a new awareness of everything in our lives. Rest in the silence of prayer. Matthew 5.25 Jesus said, Agree with thine adversary quickly. In prayer, we now take that initial step by agreeing with any adversary in our lives. Something that we may not be able to do with human mind alone, we can do in this higher spiritual state, this prayer consciousness that we are now in. Through the power of prayer, we stop thinking that we have an adversary. If in our human mind we see our world filled with enemies or pitfalls, we are not seeing a right. We now in prayer rise above, rise above that consciousness spiritually. If some person or situation causes us to feel unloved or unsure, we rise above that consciousness. Do so now in the silence of prayer. Dear God, we no longer forget our true identity as a child of God. In this moment of prayer, we reconnect. We are children of God. We are beloved of God. We are sustained. We are supported by the loving presence of God. Nothing can keep our God-given good from us. And no one can keep our happiness from us. We realize in this moment of time that our happiness is from God, and we accept that. We agree in prayer with God. A new understanding dawns on our entire life. It is a spiritual understanding that is dawning. If you have an experience that keeps coming back to your human mind to haunt you, ask God for a healing of that right now. Ask for God love to infill your consciousness and the space that is called your human brain with a new spiritual insight and vision. Rest in the silence of prayer. Agree with thine adversary quickly. Let us consider in prayer the word quickly. Many times disagreements and differences have festered in our human minds. Sometimes we have allowed in our thinking those thoughts to become exaggerated, 
and out of proportion. We ask this day for a healing of this. Dear God, bring my problems down to size. Minister to me in their reduced size. Help me to see this aright in this moment, that I am not alone, that you are with me, and together we are a majority over any problem. You are one this day with the mind of God. You no longer, like a frightened child, run from your problems. You are a child of the living God and your heart is open to the light of God. This is the time right now in your life to firmly establish your faith that all things will work together for good and that God is able to turn every challenging experience into a blessing. Yes, from our human mind, we may not see how. But that is not for us to see. In this moment, it is for us to have faith. Because there is a greater mind that is working for us, through us, around us. We relax. We let go. We let God. Dear God, we agree with our adversaries. With your help, we withdraw emotional and physical support from any dispute that is taking place in our human minds. We refuse to think in terms of adversaries we know that the love of God, your love, is always in charge, and only God good prevails. We are agreeing with our adversaries in love. The unifying power of divine love is now expressed in you. It is harmonizing, blessing your life and affairs. I decree, once again with the power of the spoken word, the unifying power of divine love is expressed in you, harmonizing and blessing your life and affairs. We pray for God love to infill us now, to change everything now. In the name and through the power of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.